Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Biological Concepts. In today's video, we will going to discuss about the mode of transmission of communicable diseases. So stay tuned. First of all, we will discuss the definition of communicable diseases. Diseases that are caused by pathogenic organisms or their toxins and can be transmitted from one host to another or from the environment to a host. These diseases can be either infectious or contagious. So, the communicable diseases are caused by the pathogenic organisms directly. The pathogenic organisms may be either bacteria or it may be virus or it may be protozoa. Sometimes these diseases are also caused by the toxins of the organisms such as cholera toxin that is caused by Vibrio cholerae. Uh, tetanus toxin produced by the Clostridium tetani, Botulinum toxin caused by Clostridium botulinum. This toxin also causes disease to human being. And this disease must be transmitted from either one host to another or from the environment to a host. The host may be either human or it may be animal or it may be vector. The vectors uh, are include mosquito, fly, mites, etc. So, these are the definition of communicable diseases. Okay. Now, how these communicable diseases are spread, we will discuss. The communicable disease may be spread from one person to another. Examples is flu. This flu is transmitted from one person to another. Next one is from an animal to a person. That is the zoonotic disease which are transmitted from the animal to a person. Examples include rabies, leptospirosis, etc. Third one is the from a surface or a food. There are some foodborne or waterborne disease and that, that include the salmonellosis, shigellosis, etc. The diseases can be transmitted during air travel through direct contact with a sick person or respiratory droplet spread from a sick person sneezing or coughing. Examples include influenza, measles, COVID. Now here this image shows how the communicable diseases can be transmitted from person to person by various kinds of direct and indirect methods. The direct methods include horizontal contact that is through kissing or sex. Examples is HIV that is uh, next one is syphilis through airborne droplet. When person are in close contact the airborne droplet generated by the sick persons containing the airborne droplet containing microorganism the pathogenic microorganisms which also cause the disease. The examples include covid flu etc through vertical contact vertical contact is the vertical transmitted infections is an infection that caused by pathogenic bacteria or viruses that use mother to child transmission directly from mother to an embryo fetus or baby during pregnancy or during the childbirth the examples include syphilis, rubella, HIV, toxoplasmosis, etc. And the last one is the vector bond. The vector bond disease are one that are transmitted by the vector that is mosquito, fly, mites, etc. The examples include dengue, malaria, chikungunya, Japanese encephalitis, scrap typhus, etc. In indirect contact, the indirect contact by fomites. The fomites are the inanimate objects that helps in the transmission of the disease. This include thermometer, eating utensils, bedding, toys that are contaminated by the microorganism. And the other one is the food, water, various kinds of biological product. The biological products include blood, seven uh, body fluids, etc. And the last one is the airborne disease that are caused by the indirect contact. 
during sneezing coughing of an infected persons they generate air droplets this droplet nuclei containing microorganisms and when this droplet uh, land on the surface or any uh, another container or anything else and upon uh, upon touching this uh, surface or container that is contaminated with the infected uh, uh, droplets the person get this contaminated microorganism in their hand and when they again touch their uh, nose mouth or eyes at that time this contaminated microorganism entered their body thus the disease is transmitted now how the communicable diseases are transmitted from person to person we have already discussed and the examples of the communicable diseases that are spread by the routes of direct contact and indirect contact we will discuss uh the diseases that are spread by the routes of direct contact is first one is the vertical contact the bacterial disease that are caused by the vertical contact is syphilis caused by trypanosoma pallidum the viral disease that are caused by the vertical contact is rubella hiv herpes etc the disease that's caused by the parasites uh, is toxoplasmosis it is also caused by the vertical contact second was the vector borne disease that are also caused by the direct contact the bacterial disease that is spread the vector is strep typhus here the vector is the chicken mite Second one, the viral disease is dengue, Japanese encephalitis, chikungunya that are transmitted by the virus. And here the vector is the mosquito. And the disease that is caused by the parasite uh, are uh, examples include the malaria. And this disease is also transmitted by the vector is mosquito. By nursing mother. a nursing mother can also transmit the staphylococcal infection to their baby staph infection are a common cause of mastitis infection in the breast it is possible that a staph infection could be spread to a nursing child during breastfeeding from a direct skin contact next is by contact with oral secretion or body lesion the bacterial disease examples is boil that is spread by the contact with uh, body fluids or oral secretion is boils next one is the viral disease herpes that is caused by the oral secretion or the body lesion boil is spread by the body lesion next uh, if number 5 is the direct contact with animal or animal product the bacterial disease examples include salmonellosis campylobacteriaceae that are caused by the direct contact with animal or animal product and the viral disease is bird flu swine flu that are also caused by the direct contact with animal or animal products number 6 is the coming into contact with infected persons there are some bacterial disease the examples are gonorrhea syphilis strep throat diphtheria that are caused by when one come into contact with the infected persons in case of uh, during sexual contact gonorrhea syphilis are transmitted from uh, the infected sexual partner to another uh, partner and uh, strep throat infection is also transmitted during direct contact through the uh, wound discharge or a saliva discharge or any other kind of secretion similarly diphtheria is also transmitted when uh, uh, so when one the healthy person uh, touch the sick persons open sores or ulcers there is a increased risk of getting risk uh, that one can uh, get the diphtheria is when people is present in the same house old and the viral disease that is caused by the contact with the infected person is nipa this is dangerous disease it is a highly contagious disease now let's discuss the some diseases that are spread by routes of indirect contact number 1 is droplet nuclei that touch the mucous membrane 
The bacterial diseases include the diphtheria, pertussis or whooping cough that are caused by droplet nuclei that touches the mucous membrane. And how it uh, occurs, we have already discussed that, uh, that during coughing, snitching, the droplet uh, emits from the mouth or nose from the from that infected person contain the infected micro microorganisms and it uh, land on the surface of table or any utensil etc. When a healthy person touches these uh, surfaces, they get this uh, microorganism to their hand and once they uh, touch their eyes, nose, mouth that is uh, which is, that is the mucous membrane the disease is entered in the human body and another examples of viral disease that also caused by droplet nuclei that touch the mucous membrane includes influenza covid 19 measles chicken pox etc next is the uh, the disease that are spread by the thermometer eating utensils drinking cups bathing toys that is the fomites Examples of bacterial disease include pseudomonas bacteria, diphtheria, pertussis, or whooping cough. And the viral disease include influenza, COVID-19, measles. Third one is the consuming contaminated food or water. The bacterial disease that are caused by consuming contaminated food or water is salmonellosis, shigellosis, etc. Sigilla is found in the stool of infected people, in food or water that is contaminated by infected persons, on the surfaces that have been touched by the infected people. Similarly, some viral disease also caused by consuming contaminated food or water and the examples include diarrhea that is caused by the norovirus. Next is the disease that are also caused by indirect contact is include blood, Drugs, IV fluid. Examples of the bacterial disease include diphtheria pertussis, and the examples of viral disease include HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. And through indirect contact, the vectors also can transmit the communicable diseases. How this possible? The flies carrying Shigella organisms on their feet from a fecal source to a plate of food that a person is eating. When this person is eating this contaminated food, he got the Shigella. Okay. And they are infected with Shigella organism and caught the Shigellosis. These are all about the mode of transmission of communicable diseases. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.